Please stay, don't know. How's your day going today? I am going to take you through the process of working the L's box, the May L's box, which was the board game box. Now, I had a mishap with my computer and I've already done one. My computer crashed halfway through recording, so I lost it. So, this is the half of one of them. So what I've done is the uh, backgammon game is the one that I have used. So this is the, this mold here. I've done one. So I'm going to do a second and I'm going to show you how I got to and did it and then we'll put it together. So this is the first one. So what I did do, I mica powdered, I used the resin, the magnet is inside and then I put the Game Boy in that. So what do you think? Pretty cool, hey? <laughs> Hello camera. <laughs> okay, so, and then what I did do is I used hot glue in there and felt put, stuck the um, felt in because it's a little bit better with, um, instead of having the clacking around, especially if you're going to travel with it. Um, a little bit of softness. Okay, so we're going to go through and get this done. First steps, obviously, where's the mold? The first step is to use the mold. I'm going to show you each step, obviously. Um, see how we go. Now, I am using some products from a previous box. So just as a heads up, one of the things that I am using from a previous box is actually this gold. I could use either one of these. Uh, I suppose I should have the book out so I can tell you what it is. My hair's a nightmare today. So I could be using like the chameleon powder, but I wanted the gold, but you do have these two chameleon powders. Okay, but instead I'm going with the gold. I, in a previous bra bo box, brush, in a previous box I did get this from Sophie and Toffee, and I'm using this to brush it in. I find it better than the Where are they? I find it better than the brushes that the like the eye makeup brushes. This is uh, I find much better. Okay, so there it is. We're coating. I see. There we go. Just trying to see if I can make sure you are seeing what I what I am seeing. And I'm really am rubbing that in. To the edge but I am also trying to make do my best to try and keep it only on the edge not for it to travel up the sides sometimes you just can't help that though from there we now just need to get to and mix our uh, resin our three to one resin but the little trick with um, I need to clean up these slipsies I have a tendency to use wipes um, and I'm using the wipe now before I do the before I mix the resin because then that gives the chance for the for it to dry. Okay, so there we go. Right, I'm gonna get to mix the resin and uh, come back to you when the resin's done. Resin has been mixed. Now, I didn't put through the full 120. I'm just gonna prep this up because one of the things that we need to do, and it is one of the tips that they say, is to actually put weight either side of these so that uh, it doesn't, the weight of the resin doesn't pull it out. So what I'm doing is putting that mold, lay it up so it holds it, and when I'm done I actually have a tool kit that I will put on this side that will hold it in and highly likely I'm going to need to put something on either side of this but what I have is the resin is poured now what I did do with the other one you can see it does have the black glitter in it but I also put a blank translucent pigment dye yet again from a previous Sophie and Toffee. 
Okay, so I put three drops in. Then the glitter, which has it, was from the box. And yes, I'm using all of it. I used about half of it with the top set with the other side, so I'll use the same this time. It is not very dark at all. It looks dark there, but when you pour it out, you are going to find that it is thin, um, not too dark in colour. There we go. So you can see here big gap and if I do that it's bringing it in which is what I want it to do I do the same with that one and I've got to do the same with that one so now I'm just going to top this up and also put the magnet down so it just mix up a little bit more resin and uh, come back okay so the next stage stages here is to put the um magnet in what you do we want the matte side up okay put a bit more resin on here and then we put the backgammon piece on that off and it actually goes over it's not pretty right now one of these and we're going to push the air out because I just made a heap of air get under that okay so next step is just to let this set um, you can actually see the difference between that one and this one which is one thing about having to do two moulds is my ratio of glitter is not right but uh, I don't think we're going to be that fussy when we're travelling <laughs> so um, we'll, we'll come back when, uh, and uh, demould this, uh, this and put it together okay here we go The this has now set so we're going to do what we can to get this out and uh, I'll come back you can watch me battle this out because the last time I did this it was a battle too it's all about starting it this is still this one is still flexible it's not a hundred percent set uh, which I mean I never <laughs> I never have the patience to uh, actually get to and wait but then I like to get them out while they're still flexible just gives it a little bit extra with leeway okay and that is done and what I mean leeway is the stretchability just is that a word is that really a word and let's get this started this is why you need to put something up beside it I have a gap here which I can do nothing about now that's a simple process of just cutting some felt out and gluing it okay so we're going to do two lots of 15 so two different colors one of the things we uh, do well, that can be done is to actually lay down tape and just going to grab a couple of magnets because that will actually hold that down go on and put a couple of magnets down and i will show you the process for attaching those but i thought i'd get that done first so you can see what happens so in here i'm actually going to use uh, uv resin we'll tint them i have mica powder and these are from previous boxes but I've actually poured them into bottles because I like bottles because they pour easier so the first one I'm going to do is the purple I'm going to do it close to matching and let's pour these out
but we have 15 of these onto the blue ones. Exactly the same process. So it is sticky side up. Process that I am doing for these is very, whoops, very, 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 very simple. I am, whoops, just going to put some clear resin and stick them on. There's bits are set enough where I can actually move them. Give them a little bit of a UV. Then do the same again. Anyway, let's get these off the sticky. And it's just a case of just lifting them up. So we have all of our pieces. Next steps here, I now need to put the hinges on, which is generally a straightforward process. Hinges, some people can screw them on. What we received, however, in this box was just the hinges with no screws. These steps is just simply gluing these on. You need to make sure that this hinge bit is on the outside. This bit here is on the outside. And simple process, resin one side. I don't want to resin that edge. So now we have the hinges. When we, this is where, when we open up, that will lie flat like that. So now, what I'm going to do, remove that. And to keep these in the right place. So that will go like that, that will go like that, that goes over like that. So now I'm actually going to resin it like that. What I have done here is I have put tape on this so that these hinges will still move. I'm going to put resin on this bit, on the hinges, resin on the hinges, that tape is going to prevent it from sticking to the other side and now I'm going to put this together like that. Okay, we now have what seems to be sticking together, however, I have just done that. I can remove the tape, that resin, UV resin, stuck to the tape I'm on. Alright, so we now have a box, a travel box, pretty well in line because of the way I glued it, glued those hinges, and now 
to see how we go here with these pieces. Best way to do this up, we'll find out. Okay, and quick. <laughs> there we go. Don't know what we can fit in there, dice, something, but um, that doesn't stop, that stops a little bit of um, noise. So what do you think? One travel, backgammon piece. Woohoo! So, gems. Here we go. Big old spiel. Comment, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Um, if you actually made it to the end of this channel, please let me know. If you prefer chess, checkers, or backgammon. So, chess, checkers, backgammon. Because the kit did come with the pawns, but I do believe you can get the purchase a full kit of um, chessboard pieces. You should be able to get the full set of chessboard pieces from the Sophie and Toffee shop. Down below you have the link to discount on the box and also a link to 10% uh, off uh, your first purchase from the Sophie and Toffee store itself, not the subscription box. So gems on that note, I will say thank you for watching. Thank you for getting to this far. And um, yeah, bye for now.